Hello everyone. Today we will present theory of language used by men and women, proposed by Jane Holmes, 19 and 92. Before we start the discussion, we will introduce ourselves first. There, there is Nikita Sri Andini with the registration number 1912-10406, and Larissa. I'm sorry, as the second speaker, and Larissa Hadiantini with the registration number 1912-10406. Seven as the first speaker. After we conducted a discussion of the theory of language used by men and women proposed by Jen Holmes, we found several theories uh, from several researches, just like article on journal uh, and the other researches. And here are the following theories that we found, and we will discuss it one by one. All right, the first theory. In the formal situations, like in the conferences, seminars, workshops, and other formal situation, men contribute more uh, in the discussion section rather than women. And this theory uh, can be seen in the analysis conducted by Jane Holmes, by Holmes 19 and 92. Uh, Singh noted that in the seminar or workshop, which consists of 100 participants men asked about 62 uh, percent of all questions during the discussion however women talk less than men that's that's that is the first theory next one is women are more concerned with solidarity and connection which makes them talk less in uh, formal and public context okay uh, this theory means the more private the contents, the more appropriate the focus on in the personal, the more public and formal the context, and the more likely contribution of status for the wrong fund. The third theory that we find is women will participate more when the speaker is a woman and the topic is related to woman's life. Uh, okay, it means that it doesn't mean that women give less participation in formal context. Okay. It can be concluded that uh, the participation the participation uh, of the women is can is can be seen uh, from the who is the speaker and what the topic being discussed. The okay, next one. The next story is man. Next story, please. Men interrupt others more than women do. Okay, this theory means uh, men dominate than women. It is just like uh, women are ashamed to be people who are often interrupted by men. All right. The next one is women. Women are more likely to use a cooperative style of speech and men a competitive style. And the next theory is women tend to contribute more in informal professional context than formal ones. Uh, I think the meaning is same as, uh, as the theory before. We can conclude that when they do, when they, they, which means that women or men, women and men do contribute their often facilitated exploratory talk. And Holmes shows how ex exploratory talk sees a more intensive exploration of the issue being discussed than the more status and enhancing talk typically produced by men and informal context. All right, next theory will be presented by Sri Andini. Sri Andini, your time is yours. All right, thank you, Rista. And now I will present uh, the other theory from Jane Holmes. And then the next theory is in his uh, in Helmut's research on positive and politeness and positive and negative politeness. Um, when communicating, women tend to use politeness, which refers to positive politeness. Meanwhile, men are more referring to negative politeness. And then the next theory is uh, Helmut suggests that. The reason, the reason for this is that women and men have different uh, perceptions of, uh, of what language is used for. Uh, men percep perceive and use language as a tool to convey and, and obtain information. Meanwhile, 
women are more likely to use language uh, as a tool to build a relationship with the society. And then the next theory is uh, Holmes claims that women are more linguistically polite than men and the ways of speaking between women and men usually emphasize a different style and function. Women use more standard form uh, than men because women should be aware of their status in the society. Uh, because uh, most of the society tends to expect a woman to, to behave better than men. Therefore, they should be a speak more standard than men. And then the next theory is uh, men usually use regional language to show solidarity, uh, masculinity, and male, uh, and male toughness. While the topics of conversation for women are usually more related to status of personal relationship, experiences, uh, problems, and feelings. However, in speaking situations, men usually uh, don't talk about their emotions. Uh, in addition, uh, the way of conveying information is considered to, to be more direct if, if, if it is a man who confesses it. Meanwhile, women tend to talk, uh, talk in detail about the information they have. All right, that's all from me, and I will bring back the time to the moderator. All right, thank you, Sri Andini. Okay, those are the theories that we found after being this after discussion, our after our discussion, and we can conclude that uh, theories that proposed by Jean Holmes about language use by language use by men and women, uh, we can we can see the differences that uh, men are participating more in formal situation or formal context, just like discussion, just like discussion in seminars, workshop, and the other uh, kinds of formal situations. And they will they will have more power to involve or contribute in those kinds of situation. Uh, whether women women are contribute more in informal situation and they like build they like build a social social relationship in society uh, uh, they they are more like um, what's that they will like uh, build uh, or talk about experiences about uh, problems status and the other kinds of informal context with the other people and uh Holmes also proposed that the differences of the politeness between men and women uh, whether women are more uh, create positive politeness rather than men which means that men uh, more which, which mean that men create uh, negative politeness uh, yes, negative politeness rather than women. Okay, I think that's all our presentation. I hope uh, you can understand what we have discussed and I hope it is as your additional information. Thank you for your attention. Okay, bye.